welcome to Sun Smarts, the podcast where we dive deep into how sun exposure affects our skin and the truths behind vitamin D deficiency. I'm Dr. Lo Chai Ling, and today I'm exploring how protecting your skin from the sun's rays can help slow down the aging process and why you don't need to worry about vitamin D deficiency when using sunscreen. Imagine you have a brand new leather handbag. Initially, the leather is smooth, supple and flawless. You take it outside without any protection, exposing it to the sun day after day. Over time, your nice leather handbag begins to change. Think of your healthy skin as new leather is smooth, firm and elastic. Thanks to the collagen and elastin fibers that provide structure and flexibility. When you expose the leather to the sun's UV rays, it starts to dry out and lose its natural oils, much like how UV radiation affects your skin. The sun's rays break down the collagen and elastin in the skin, causing damage over time. With continuous sun exposure, the leather becomes increasingly dry and starts to crack and wrinkle. Similarly, repeated UV exposure leads to the breakdown of skin-supported fibres, resulting in solar elastosis. The skin becomes thickened, leathery and wrinkled, losing its youthful appearance and elasticity. Eventually, the once supple and smooth leather turns rough, brittle and aged. This mirrors what happens to the skin with chronic UV exposure. It becomes coarse, deeply wrinkled and uneven in tone and structure. The aging effects of sun exposure. Let's start with the basics. Did you know that up to 90% of visible skin aging is caused by sun damage? According to the Yale School of Medicine, UV radiation from the sun breaks down collagen, impairs the synthesis of new collagen and damages elastin fibers. This leads to wrinkles, loss of skin elasticity and pigmentation changes. Clinical studies have shown that even minimal daily sun exposure can lead to significant skin aging over time. For example, a study published in Clinical Cosmetic and investigational dermatology found that individuals with high levels of sun exposure had more pronounced skin aging compared to those with minimal sun exposure even after accounting for age and skin type. How quickly does UV damage occur? You must be wondering how long it takes for UV damage to start affecting your skin. The truth is it can happen quite quickly. Immediate effects such as sunburn and immediate pigment darkening can occur within minutes of exposure. However, cumulative effects from even small amounts of sun exposure can add up over the years, leading to noticeable skin aging. For instance, UV rays can cause immediate pigment darkening within minutes and delayed tanning within 48 to 72 hours. The cumulative damage leads to what we call photoaging, which includes wrinkles, dark spots, and loss of skin elasticity. Solar elastosis and its reversibility. Solar elastosis is another consequence of chronic sun exposure. It refers to the accumulation of abnormal elastin in the skin due to repeated UV exposure, causing the skin to become darkened, yellowish and wrinkled. Unfortunately, solar elastosis is largely irreversible, although treatments like topical retinoids, laser therapy and chemical peels can improve the appearance. The vitamin D dilemma. Now let's address a common concern vitamin D deficiency. While it's true that our bodies produce vitamin D when exposed to sunlight, you don't need to sacrifice your skin's health to maintain adequate levels. According to National Institutes of Health, just 5 to 30 minutes of sun exposure twice a week to your face, arms, legs or back without sunscreen usually leads to sufficient vitamin D synthesis. Furthermore, you can get vitamin D from dietary sources like fatty fish, fortified dairy products and supplements. Even a few minutes of sun exposure, like a few times a week, can maintain adequate levels without compromising your skin's health. In conclusion, protecting your skin from UV radiation is crucial in preventing premature aging. Regular use of broad-spectrum sunscreen, wearing protective clothes, clothing and seeking shade are effective ways to shield your skin from the harmful rays. 
And remember, you can still get enough vitamin D through a combination of diet supplements and safe sun exposure. Thank you for tuning in to Sun Smarts. Stay protected, stay youthful, and stay informed. Don't forget to follow us for more tips on maintaining healthy and beautiful skin. Until next time, bye bye.